Okay. Yes. No, she's not back yet. Still out in the woods. Papa? Papa, are you okay? Papa? Is this all you've been doing? Staring at the TV while I search for Orson? No. I got you some help. What kind of help? Trust me. It's for the best. Papa? Who's at the door? She's inside. Papa? Miss Johansson? I'm from the hospital. I'd like you to come with me. What the hell is going on? Get your hands off me! If you continue to resist, I'll have to restrain you. What did you do? I love you, Angel. I will never forgive you. The doctors didn't find anything wrong with you. That's because I'm not... Crazy? A danger to yourself and others? I'm not so sure about that. Astrid, does anyone else have access to your car? Anyone else use it? No. Why? Walk me through where you were when Orson went missing. Wait. Do you think I had something to do with this? That's what I'm trying to find out. First, you accuse my father of murder. Then you insinuate I had something to do with Orson's disappearance? Everyone knows you have a vendetta against my family. And this time, you're taking it too far. We got a tip and found a child's glove stuck to your car tire. Does this glove belong to Orson? Oh my god. We're sending it to the lab to get DNA samples. But, if there's anything you want to confess now... I didn't kill my son! Everything's pointing to you. The three days you were missing. Your erratic behavior. This glove. Am I under arrest? Not yet. We'll have to wait to see what the lab says. This is crazy. What do I tell my family? The truth. How could you? You made me believe the things you told me, that I was blessed. I guess that was all bullshit. And now you want to give Krista all the power? What will she do to me if she's in charge? Can you hear me? Xavier? Can you hear me? Do you have faith? Do you know where she is? away from here. Do you hear me?
away from him! It's okay. You're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? I'm here to listen if you want. <sighs> You're right. It's been so long since anyone has given a shit about what I thought or felt. I don't even know what to say. I give a shit, Eric. And I'm here. Now. For you. What you're feeling is important. <sighs> right. Important to who? You? I can't believe I'm in a bar. Especially after last night. My thoughts have been so jumbled since I came back here. And those little voices in my head are saying, have a drink and everything will make sense. I just want to shut my brain up. Astrid? Are you even listening? Hey. Are you okay? No, Brit. Papa just tried to commit me to a mental institution. So I'm pretty sure I'm not okay. I'm sorry. That had to be rough. There were these orderlies who kept trying to shove pills down my throat. <laughs> That's funny. Because back in rehab, the orderlies tried to prevent me from shoving pills down my throat. It's not funny. I know. I... I'm sorry. Can I get you anything else? We're fine. Thanks, Leo. So, I heard you were at the station. Is Haugen putting the search back on for Orson? No. Why were you there, then? Oh, God. Brit. I'm... I'm in trouble. Astrid. Talk to me. What happened? Haugen found a glove in my car. A glove? What glove? Orson's. It was covered in blood. Why was there blood on Orson's glove, and how did it get in your car? I don't know. Astrid? Did you do anything? No, goddammit! And how could you even say that? I'm sorry. I didn't mean... This is bad, Astrid. I don't need to be told that. I mean, this is really bad because Niels is back in town. So? He's a podcaster now. Has quite a following. And why is that bad exactly? Because he talks about true crime. He covered that killer in Brussels. Did an episode on those cult murders in Sweden. And now he's talking about us. If he finds out that you're under investigation... Look, a new episode just dropped. Let's listen together. Hello, faithful listeners. We have some major developments to talk about. Not only has Orson Johansson's disappearance escalated into a murder investigation, but the prime suspect is none other than Orson's mother, Astrid Johansson. 
Apparently, the police were led to this gruesome discovery by an anonymous tip. How could a mother kill her own son? What a monster. Shit. Everyone knows. I'm so fucked. Hey, don't freak out. Too late. Wait. When did you find out Nils was back in town? I don't know. Not that long ago. Have you been in touch with him? Of course not. Why would you... Because you walk in and say he started this podcast, and Nils suddenly has all this secret information about the investigation. Did you say anything to him? Stop. You're being paranoid. I'm your sister. We'll figure this out together. Together? Why are you looking at me like that? Were you the one who turned in Orson's glove to Hogan? What? No. How could you say that? Let me guess. You thought you were doing the right thing. Where are you going? I don't have to listen to this. I'm so sick of your endless accusations. You've treated me like shit my whole life and I'm done. Go ahead and run away like you usually do. You know what, Astrid? You're just like Mama. Trial A7143. Unexpected immune response. Consider decreasing viral load. Trial A7144. Expired before reaching maturity. <gasps> Mama, where are you? I'm so cold. Did I catch you at a bad time? Meta, what are you doing here? Just picking up some shifts. This hospital seems to be chronically understaffed. I wanted to check and see how you were doing. I'm fine. Are you? Because I can't imagine anyone being fine under these circumstances. Why don't you go back to the farm and attend to Papa? I'm all good here. I know you're not happy about our relationship, but your father and I, we're here for you, no matter what. Carl loves you very much, and would never do anything to hurt you. Neither would I, even if we thought. Thought what? I know he would do anything to make this nightmare with Orson end for you. All available nursing staff, we have a code blue. Please report to the temp ward on floor three. Ah, that's me. I need to go. This is the third code blue this week. That seems like a lot. It is. Something terrible is happening to patients here and no one knows what is causing it. What's happening to them? One day they're getting better, then the next day they're dead. No one knows why. Once again, all available nursing staff, please report to floor three. I really should go. Krista? Where have you been? Out there with Eric. Looking for your daughter. Eric? Where is he? I lost him. No! We need to find him! We have to go back out there! We can't. It's not safe. I don't care. Eric is out there looking for Faith, and we need to do everything in our power to find them. I'm not going to let anyone risk their lives. Not after what I saw. Xavier would- Xavier is catatonic. Listen, I don't want anything to happen to Eric or Faith either. But you haven't seen what I've seen. Paul Radcliffe said the withering was not just the rot within us, spreading through the world like a disease. He said it was a mirror to our own darkness. And what stares back at us is... despair. 
all that's waiting for us out there. Despair. I don't need your help. I'll ask the others. Beg them if I have to. And I'll tell them what I saw. No one will join you. I'm sorry, Rachel, but no one leaves this building until Xavier wakes up and demands it. Or the fog subsides. It's for your own good. Thought I'd find you here. You'd always come here to mope after you and Mama had a fight. Funny how things never change. Not talking to me, huh? Do you still think your junkie sister ratted you out to the cops? I can't believe you said I was like Mama. I can't believe you'd think I'd try and get you arrested. She abused me too, you know? I'm nothing like her. Nothing. I don't understand. Do you ever feel like you can't trust yourself? I punched out the mirror in my hotel room because I didn't like what I saw. If that answers your question. What if... What if Haugen is right to suspect me? What if I am responsible for what's happened to Orson and I just... can't bring myself to face it? You're scaring me. I'm scaring myself. Oh, Brit. I... I don't know what's real or not anymore. What if I did it? What if I killed my little boy? You don't have that in you. But what if I do? You don't, because I've known you my whole life. I know what you can and can't do. You're fucked up, that's all. Like me, like all of us. But you're not a killer. What am I supposed to do now? Talk to Papa. He's the reason we're this way. He and Mama. Maybe he can explain it. I can't. Not right now. Besides, have you ever tried to talk to him about... what happened? No. I left town. But someone needs to. Maybe he'll listen to me. Britt, it's no use. You know, Papa. I need to do it. Ever since I came back home, it's like no time has passed. All the hurt, all the bad feelings got... Pumped right in my lap. I've been really good so far. Following the steps, working the program. I can't slip up. Then you have to make him listen. I'll take him to a meeting with me. Everybody's so vulnerable there. Maybe he'll finally be open and share his emotions. I don't want to be this way. I'll talk to Papa. And he'll understand and he'll help us. Finally. I love you. You too. Does anyone else want to speak? Hi, my name is Britt, and I'm an addict. Hello, Britt. Nice to see you came back. Seems like you're becoming a regular. And I brought my father with me. Hmm. I'm only here because Britt begged me. I don't know why. You are always welcome here. Both of you. And we're sorry you're going through so much with your wife's passing. And the boy. Papa, I brought you here because I need to say some things to you. And I need you to listen to me. Without interrupting. I am listening. This will be hard for you to hear, but everything we say in this circle stays private. Fine. Okay. Get on with it. I'm serious. You have to listen. Not just for me, but for Astrid, too. Because... We need you with us, Papa. Astrid especially. And when I say that, I mean we need you mentally present with us, not ranting about monsters in the woods. I'm sorry. Monsters? 
in the woods? When everything happened with our family 15 years ago, I could have used your support, Papa. But you were absent. So I drank and used drugs instead. Now we need you again, Papa. Do you understand? Papa? What do you mean Xavier is catatonic? I want to see him. Everyone needs to just calm down. Who is in charge then? Xavier left a note, specifically stating who he'd like to take his place if anything happened to him. Well, who is it? Krista. He did what? He thought you were the most worthy, so congratulations. Thank you, Rachel. That's, a uh, generous of you. Should we try to leave town? No one is going anywhere. We stay inside the Foundation building, where it's safe, until we find more answers. For how long? Krista! Faith! Oh my god! Toby! What happened to you? They gather in masses. Divinity escapes them. Unable to see themselves. Xavier? Unable to see. Unable. 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 Xavier, we have to go. Something's coming. Xavier! Xavier, can you hear me? We have to get back to the Foundation. Oh, God. What do I do? Papa? One of those creatures is loose in the hospital. We have to hide! It's out there. Nobody leave this room. I can't believe you. Brit, I... I thought you could at least listen, but you're too far gone. So this one is free, but it's the last one I have, I'm afraid. Okay. We're so backed up with bodies, we'll take what we can get. Thanks, Astrid. Of course. They're losing so many patients upstairs. Are they any closer to figuring out what's causing all of this? Not yet. So many bodies. They better figure it out fast. Hopefully I can help with that. So many bodies. What's there to do? But you know what to do with a dead body, don't you? You're a killer. You've always been a killer. Just tell them. Tell them what you did to Orson. Death follows you everywhere, Angel. Everything you touch dies. Everyone you love. Even your own son. Deep in your heart, you know it's true. You just can't remember. What did you do to Orson? Huh? How could you hurt your own boy? You're a monster! I'm not! I didn't hurt my son! Astrid? Astrid! Are you alright? I just came to tell you that they're sending another body down in an hour. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll be here. What did I do? Damn it! Xavier, have you seen Faith? Please. My daughter is out there and I'm out of options. If you can hear me, please say something. I've seen horrors too. And I'm telling you, you can beat this. But you have to snap out of it fast. When I was a boy, 
I watched my mother die in front of me. She sacrificed herself so I could come to this country safely. I carried the guilt of her death with me until I couldn't go on anymore. But then I remembered what she wanted for me, what she gave up, and I fought back until I found myself again. Fight back, Xavier! I know you can find yourself too. Damn it, Xavier! They're coming! My mother gave her life for me, and I'll give mine to save my daughter if I have to. Faith is out there, Xavier, and she's not gonna make it if we don't act fast! You remember Faith? Uh, snap out of it and help me, goddammit! Come on, wake up! <gasps> Xavier! What? What happened? You saved me. Xavier? Eric? Oh my god, are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? Xavier, how did- Eric. He healed me. He brought me back. I'm so relieved. Thank you, Krista. I know how difficult it must have been to take charge and protect our community in my absence. As I asked. And thank you, Rachel, for supporting her. Yes. Thank you, Rachel. Of course. I'm proud of you both. But especially you, Rachel. Perhaps one day you too will be ready to lead our community. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like a word with Eric. Alone. Thank you for what you did for me back there. It was nothing, really. It's not nothing, Eric. I was lost. Trapped in my darkness. If you hadn't helped me, I never would have found a way out. You have a gift, Eric. You're a healer. And we need people like you here. Thank you. I think you're going to play a significant role in the Foundation. And stopping the withering. I just need to know if you're truly committed to the cause. Of course I am. Are you, though? I know you originally joined because of Rachel. Why are you here now, Eric? Whose side are you really on? I... I don't know. Eric, I can help save your daughter. But in order to find Faith, I need to know that you support me completely. What's it going to be? Is Faith still missing? Barbara, I thought you left. And now I've returned. I found what I was looking for. What is it? A way to stop the withering and find your daughter. For true sight, an eye must be sacrificed. I don't understand. In order to find faith, someone must lose an eye. Who's I? Someone who is closely related to the one who was lost. In this case, Faith's mother or father. Either you or Eric. You must decide. I can't do something like that. You want me to take my eye? Eric's eye? Don't you want to find your daughter? Of course I do. It's just... What if it doesn't work? This is a test of faith, Rachel. Your daughter could be out there, lost in the fog with those... things, while you're inside here, safe and sound. What kind of mother would just sit here and do nothing? I know if it was my child, there isn't anything I wouldn't do to save them. You need to ask yourself how far you are willing to go to save yours. And Rachel, let's just keep this between us.
I got your message. What's this about? When you told me you were stopping the search, I'd never felt pain like that before. But then I found this. His little hands. I had this. How did I have this if I didn't... Have what? This glove. Astrid, what did you do to Orson? I don't know. But I think my son is dead. And I... I think I killed him. Astrid Johansson. You're under arrest for the murder of Orson Johansson. Come with me. Don't touch me! Let's not make a scene. Stay back! I'm not going to ask you again. I don't want to go anywhere with you! Please, let me go! Looking for your son? My daughter's lost too. Please just wait. I need you to listen and. We have to get out of here now! Come with me. That thing wants to kill us and we have to run. I don't want to leave you, but if you don't come now. 